Newton Raphson method. So the general formula of Newton Raphson method is xi plus 1 is equal to xi minus f of xi by f dash of xi. So this is the general formula of Newton Raphson method. So let us see problem on it. Find the root of the equation is f of x equal to e power x minus 3x by using Newton Raphson method. So solution. Our f of x is this. f of x is e power x minus 3x. So we have to find f dash of x also. f dash of x is e power x is e power x. 3x is 3. So this is our f dash of x. So now we have to get one is less than 0 and another one is greater than 0. So by putting x values we have to check that. By putting x equal to 0 f of 0 is e power 0 minus 3 into 0. We have to put this in this equation only. That is 1. It is greater than 0. So by putting x is equal to 1 we have to check f of 1 e power 1 minus 3 into 1 that is minus 0 0.281 so it is less than 0 see we got one is greater than 0 another one is less than 0 at 0 and 1 so we have to take that values average 0 plus 1 by 2 these values so that is 0 0.5 so our x node value we got as 0 0.5 so now we have to put i is equal to 0 in newton raphson formula that is i is equal to 0 means x 0 plus 1 that is x1 x i means x 0 by here also f of x i means f of x 0 by here f dash of x i means f dash of x 0 so in place of i we are putting 0 so now this is x1 formula we have to substitute those values x0 is 0 0.5 so f of x0 and f dash of x0 means we have to put this 0 0.5 in f of x equation and f dash of x equation that is f of x0 is f of 0 0.5 e power 0 0.5 minus 3 into 0 0.5 that we get as 0 0.1481 so this is our f of x node value. We have to check for f dash of x node value also. So f dash of 0 0.5 means in this e power 0 0.5 minus 3. So that is minus 1.3512. So we have to write these values here. So 0 0.1481 by minus 1.3512. So our x1 value we get as 0 0.61005. So this is our x1 value. We have to substitute i is equal to 1 again. In this equation, in this formula, that is 1 plus 1 it is 2. So xi means x1 by f of xi means f of x1 by f dash of xi means f dash of x1. So now substitute these values. X1 value we got as 0 0.61005 minus f of x1 means substitute this x1 value in f of x and f dash of x. That is f of 0 0.61005 that we get as e power 0 0.61005 minus 3 into 0 0.61. 1005 so we get f of x1 value as 0 0.0103 so this is our f of x1 value we have to check for f dash of x1 value also so by putting this x1 value in this equation that is e power 0 0.61005 minus 3 so we get this as minus 1.1594. So substitute these values here. So 0 0.0103 by minus 1.1594. So we get x2 value as 0 0.6189.
so this is x two value. So we got here zero point six one and zero point six one. It should match as per one four decimal should match as same. So there the problem is. So by putting again i is equal to two in this formula that is two plus one it is three. X I means x two by your four x one x two by your dash of x two. So x two value is zero point six one eight nine, and f of x two means so here I am writing f of x two. That is put this x two value in this f of x and f dash of x. That is e power zero point six one eight nine minus three into zero point six one eight nine. So we get it as zero point zero 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 one. So this is f of x. And for f dash of x two also we have to check. Put this x two value in this equation. That is e power zero point six one eight nine minus three. That we get as minus one point one four three one. So substitute this f f of x two and f dash of x two. That is zero point zero zero one triple zero one by minus one point one four three one. So x three value we get as zero point six one eight nine. So see x two value also after point four decimal six one eight nine here also x three also six one eight nine so x two and x three completely matches so we can stop here iterations so this is the Newton Raphson method and this is the formula of Newton Raphson that is x i plus one is equal to x i minus f of x i by f dash of x i. So we have to take f of x and f dash of x. Again, we have to check one should be less than zero and another one should be greater than zero, and we have to take the average of that two. And by putting i is equal to zero, we have to get x one. I is equal to one, we have to get x two. I is equal to two, we have to get x three. So till after point four decimal should match as same. So there the problem ends. So this is the Newton-Raphson method. So thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe